This time we evaluate the integral x cubed plus 2x squared plus 11x plus 18 all over x squared plus 9 raised to the power of 2 dx. So again, it's a fraction or is it's an integral involving a rational function, a rational fraction, and we are going to evaluate this using partial fractions. The first thing to do is to check whether the fraction is proper or improper. So as we can see, the numerator has a degree of 3 and the denominator has a degree of 4. So meaning the fraction is proper. And then we check if we can further factor out the denominator. In the case here, it's not factorable anymore because x squared plus 9, the, the quadratic factor x squared plus 9 cannot be reduced anymore to factors. So what we can do now is to resolve this into partial fractions. So resolving this into partial fractions, the case here would be a non-reducible quadratic factor that is repeated twice. So this would be case number 4. So we rewrite our fraction as x cubed plus 2x squared plus 11x plus 18 over x squared plus 9 quantity squared. So we have the quadratic factor as a denominator x squared plus 9 plus another fraction with the denominator x squared plus 9 raised to the power of 2. So remember, the number of factors in the denominator correspond to the number of partial fractions. So for every, for every quadratic factor in the denominator, there is a linear numerator in the form ax plus b. And then for the next one, it's cx plus d. Then we multiply the entire uh, equation with the denominator x squared plus 9 to the power of 2. So we cancel out the denominator. So what's left is a numerator x cubed plus 2x squared plus 11x plus 18. And then we cancel out 1x squared plus 9. So we multiply ax plus b to x squared plus 9. And then we have cx plus d. So we expand. We have ax cubed plus 9ax plus bx squared plus 9b plus cx plus d. Then we equate the coefficients of x cubed, x squared, x, and the constant. On the left side, the coefficient of x cubed is 1. For x squared, it's 2. For x, it's 11. And for the constant, it's 18. And we equate them to the coefficients on the right side. So the term containing x cubed on the right side is equal to, it's just a. So we write a. The term containing x squared is, nine, is b. So we write b. For x, the term containing x is this and this. So that's 9a plus c. And for the constant, for the constant on the right side, we have 9b. That's 9b plus d. 9b plus d. But take note that we already have two values here. We have a and b. So from the value of a, we can see here that if a is equal to 1, then we can solve for c. So if this is 1, we transpose this to the left, 11 minus 9, that would give us a value of c equal to 2. Also, if we have 2 here, 9b, so 9 times 2, that's 18, and that would give us a value of d, which is equal to 0. So we now have the four values. We can now substitute to our fraction and rewrite our given. So our given is just equal to, we like integrating, what's a? It's 1 and b is 2. So that's x plus 2 over x squared plus 9 plus 2x over x squared plus 9 quantity squared dx. So for this portion here, for this fraction that is not repeated, we are going to split this into two fractions so we can rewrite this as the integral of x 
over x squared plus 9 plus, or let me just rearrange that. All right, so let's start with the constant 2, the integral of 2 over x squared plus 9 dx plus the integral of x over x squared plus 9 dx plus the integral of 2x over x squared plus 9 quantity squared dx. So for this portion here, take note that the denominator follows the form u squared plus a squared. And then we have the constant in the numerator, so we can use the formula that leads to inverse trigonometric function. But since here we have variables in the numerator, then we can let u be equal to x squared plus 9. So that du equals 2x dx. Okay, so substitute. That's 2 integral of dx over x squared plus 9 plus the integral. What is x dx equal to? This is x dx. So that would be du over 2. So that's du over 2 over u plus the integral of, since this is already 2x dx, then that is already du. So that's du over u squared. Okay, so that's 2 integral of dx over x squared plus 9 plus 1 half integral of du over u plus the integral of u to the negative 2 du. So this is 2 times 1 over 3 arc tangent of x over 3. T take note that this is u squared plus a squared. So a therefore is 3 plus 1 half ln of u plus u to the negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. So our final answer is 2 thirds arctangent of x over 3 plus 1 half ln of x squared plus 9 minus 1 over x squared plus 9 plus c. That would be our final answer.